Welcome everyone, Arcblight here, and in this video I wanted to help some people out in the last epoch by teaching them how to autocast some of their skills. This can help with certain builds such as it does with my Auto Bomber Void Knight. So this variation of setting up the autocasting requires access to a number pad. If you don't have one, you'll probably have to use some software to set up auto key, but for now, let's go with the number pad method. So starting off, enter into the game, bring up your menu by hitting escape, go to the settings, and then click on change input keys. You will want to set whatever skills that you prefer to have a secondary cast button from the number pad. For example, I set mine to one, two, three, four on the number pad from left to right. So once done, you can then go back to the game and make sure that your number lock is off. Hold down the number on the pad that corresponds to the skill that you want to have set up for the auto cast, and then press the number lock. You can release the button now and you will see that it continues activating after each of its cooldown cycle. You can also do this with more than one skill. All you have to do is once the first skill is set up with the number lock, turn the number lock off, hold down the next button, turn the number lock back on, and now you'll see that they're both auto casting. A major thing to keep in mind is that if you click off of the game in any way, it'll deactivate this auto cast and you'll have to reset it up. So if you have two monitors and you go over and click onto another screen, it's gonna turn it all off and you're gonna have to go back in and reset everything up again. But besides that, if you stay within the game, the auto casting will keep going even if you load into other maps or different areas of the game, if you open up your inventory or anything like that. You might have a delay with a window open in the game and then once you go back to the game it'll start up the auto casting again. And another thing to keep in mind as well is while you're running around, your character's gonna kinda hitch or lag as they cast the spell again. Uh, you'll get used to this. It's a little weird, but it's actually not that bad. Regarding people's concern over whether or not this is technically allowed in Last Epoch, I'll just say that the developers aren't fans of this method, but they have not banned anyone for doing this. Some people have said that the developers are considering adding in an autocast feature, and after looking into it, it looks like it's false. They stated that they won't devote any resources in attempting to detect or punish players for using this while the game is currently in offline status, but that they will review this when multiplayer launches and people are playing online within the servers. It looks like they see this as a bit of a design flaw for the skills, since their goal is to avoid having skills that sit on your action bar without being manually used. So eventually, they're likely to rework the skills themselves to try and bring benefits to manually casting them as opposed to auto-casting them. But for now, this trick is fair game. So anyway, I hope this video helped you out, and if you would like to hang out further, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash arcblight, or you can even join my Discord. Both links will be down in the description below. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching.